Hi everyone, I'm Modern Mulan. In this video, we're going to take a look at Peak Minds. The other day, nagkaroon tayo ng AMA or Ask Me Anything session with them. So, ang gagawin natin is, is summarize natin lahat ng yun ngayon. And then, we're also going to take a look at their website, white paper. I will share with you guys yung mga tingin ko na best points nila. Specifically, like yung sa tokenomics, it's very interesting yung liquidity nila is 266 years na nakalock. Yeah, so yung mga ganung bagay na hindi natin makikita sa other play to earn games. And my personal recommendations, my comments, ganon yung mga things na I think they need to improve on pa rin. So if you guys are interested, you know the drill. Click that like button, subscribe, and keep on watching. Let's jump right in sa kanilang website which is peakminds.com. As usual, nakalink po lahat ng mga babanggitin natin sa ating description box. So here, Peak Minds nakalagay, it's a blockchain-based NFT play-to-earn mining game running on the Binance Smart Chain. It is currently playable Na. So you can play it on Google Play sa mga Android devices ninyo or you could also get it sa App Store para sa mga iOS devices naman. So ito yung mga itsura ng characters natin. These are our workers. They will collect various minerals which we'll talk about later on that once refined can be exchanged for peak tokens. So that's how we can earn using peak mines. So punta tayo dito sa kanilang white paper and explore that muna. So let's talk about yung NFTs, yung workers nga natin. Of course, meron tayong rarity. For this game, meron tatlong klase. We have yung common, rare, and epic. Ito yung minting chance nila or the probability uh, ilang percent yung chance na makuha mo sila. So may 60% na makuha mo yung common, 30% for rare, and then 10% chance for epic. Meron din silang mining success rate dito. Siyempre, the better the rarity, the higher the rarity the better the minting success rate. So, ayan sila. You can refer to their white paper for that. So, nakalagay dito na yung mining success rate nila, ito, it's fixed, which means na you can get a worker with a success rate between yung base range or itong binigay nila na percentages dito. So, example daw, makapag-mint kayo ng common miner, ayan, with 25%. And then another common miner na 35%. So pwedeng iba-iba sila, pero within the range na binigay lang nila. You can increase this mining success rate uh, by leveling up yung mga mismong worker NFTs ninyo. And you can do this by gaining yung experience natin, kagaya sa ibang play-to-earn games. So for each level the workers obtain, the higher the level you get, tataas ng 2% yung mining success rate nila. Yung maximum na level na pwede lang ma-attain is 10, meaning you can improve your worker ng 20%. So if you, again, get kunwari yung common miner na 25%, you can maximize that, pwede siya umabot ng 45%. Ayan, mental math for you guys. So, Aside dito, ayan, you can check out yung mga levels nila if you guys want more details here. Um, ayan, so makikita nyo lang din yung number of days and then yung level. So if you guys want to compute yung mining success rate na pwedeng itaas din or over how many days, dito nyo siya pwedeng tignan. Alright, now let's take a look at yung pick access. So syempre kung meron kang worker, kailangan yung equipment. ba? So hindi naman siya makapag-work pag wala siyang magagamit, hindi siya makapag-mine. So, ayan. Ito yung gagamitin natin for the extractions. Of course, sato rin yung rarity nila corresponding dun sa mga workers. Common, rare, epic. Ito yung minting chance, yung durability nila, and then yung mining power. So, yung durability, ayan, mababawasan yan every time na magmimint. Mabawasan ng isa. Ito yung parang magiging lifespan nila, parang strength. Ayun nga lifespan ng mismo NFT. Kapag nag-zero yan, ibig sabihin, kailangan mo nang bumili ng bagong picks axe. I know mixed feelings yung mga tao regarding kapag may lifespan yung NFT. But personally, sa ngayon ha, sa mga pattern ng player in games, kapag merong lifespan at na-encourage yung mga players na mag-reinvest, I think it's overall better. So far, ha? So yon halimbawa, meron kang common, you can only use it for 20 times. Then, 20 yung durability niya. After that, kailangan mong bumili ng bago. So you can get a new Pix Axe whether by minting it for a price of 5 peak or buying it sa kanilang marketplace. So yung Pix Axe can be burned in order to get back 20% of the mint cost. So meron ka namang pangbawi din. Halimbawa, naubos na yung common nga na, na use mo na 20 times. So hindi naman mag-zero value yan. No? May 20% cashback ka parang ganun if you guys burn it. You can use some of that peak na makukuha ninyo and buy another Pix Axe or dadagdag na lang kayo ng konti. Now let's go sa mines naman. So dito tayo kukuha ng mga minerals 
Plus, every mine has a raw mineral quality of 1,000. So, ano pa lang yan ha? Raw. Kailangan pa nating i-refine to mamaya. We'll talk about that or we'll get to that in a while. So, ito yung different types of mines na we can get. We have coal, iron, silver, gold, and diamond. Tapos, ito yung um, corresponding prices nila. You can either take a screenshot of this, uh, pwede nyo isulat, or again, you can just check out yung white paper nila for yourself. Now, halimbawa, meron na tayong worker, meron na tayong pickaxe, and then nakakuha na tayo nitong mines. So, ang gagawin natin is pupunta tayo dito sa furnace. Kailangan nating i-refine yung raw minerals. So, na-mention din natin to sa introduction kanina or dun sa website nila. Ayan. So, to obtain uh, one refined mineral, you will need times 100 of a raw mineral and quantity of coal. So, meron ding anyan, rarity. We have common rare epic, minting chance nila. And then, yung slots, kung ilan yung pwedeng i-fill in na mineral. So, ito yung required coal nila. Kung baga, yung uling pang refine ganun. So, halimbawa, meron kang iron, kailangan mo ng 16 na coal, silver, 24, gold, 32, and then yung diamond, 40 naman. Kapag wala kang sarili mong furnace to refine yung minerals, pwede kang gumamit uh, or manghiram sa guild ninyo or sa mismong refinery. So, we'll get to the refinery then in a few minutes. So, kapit lang kayo dyan. Now, if you want to invest naman, uh, kung halimbawa ayaw mo makigamit sa guild or sa friend mo, ganyan, you can buy a furnace. Pwede kayo mag-mint or again, you can also opt to buy one sa marketplace. Yung minting cost nito is 20 peak. By the way, yung peak token nila is already listed. So, hindi ko lang sinabi equivalent price kasi alam niyo naman nagbabago-bago yan. So, to make this video more timeless, kumbaga, um, hindi ko na ba magitin muna yung price but you can go ahead and search for it. Ililink ko na rin yung, ano nila, yung CMC nila dito sa ating description box for your reference maya-maya. So, nabanggit natin na kung wala kayo yung furnace, you can go ahead and use the refinery. But, ano nga ba yung refinery? So, here, again, you can refine yung mga minerals na makukuha ninyo kahit wala kayong sariling furnace. Gagamitin naman dito is, to obtain one refined mineral, you will need times 120. So, kanina, times 100 lang. Ngayon, times 120. Yun, refining process will take 24 hours. And then, eto yung coal quantity. Pareho lang sila ng required coal. Tapos, yung refinery does not have a simultaneous refining or mineral refining limit unlike sa mga furnace kanina no meron silang parang slots dyan now for the guilds alam nyo na to no we won't get uh, much into this basically parang clan lang siya or parang community, samahan, you guys help each other, um, ganun siya. So, guild initially can have up to 100 members. Now, if you're interested in creating one of your own, uh, it will cost 20 peak. Pero kapag sumali ka, o oh, yun, walang bayad yun. But you must be accepted by the guild leader. So, ganyan siya. Guild leader can set a mineral fee for using the furnaces. So, sabi ko nga, pwede kayo mag-share, no? And then, kung halimbawa, mag-share lang kayo. I heard sa Discord, there are some na mababa lang yung fee. And there are some na parang may 10% fee nga, ganyan. Uh, one thing na you can consider in joining a guild, aside sa samahan, of course, kung makaka-vibes niyo ba sila, is yung furnace fee nila, no, sa paggamit. Now, they also have what they call a bank. Dito naman, yung pagmamanage ng finances. Of course, bank nga siya. So, dito nyo i-exchange yung minerals nyo for peak token. Kasi remember, peak token dun tayo, um, yun yung pwede natin exchange to another currency. So, ito yung value nga nila nakalagay din dito. Then, sabi, you'll be able to issue an instant exchange anytime for a 50% fee nga lang uh, that will be reduced 5% each day until the release date. And then, for the marketplace na nabanggit natin, you can buy your NFTs here, yung workers, yung pickaxe, and yung furnace, uh, if you guys are interested. Items will be sold, uh, meron silang 10% fee. Babawasan ito dun sa mismong sale price or kung magkano mo siya ililista. So, halimbawa, nagabenta kayo na NFTs nyo and you want to earn a profit from it, make sure na i-add nyo yung 10% fee na yun. So, yung 10% fee, saan ba mapupunta? 8% will be sent back sa rewards pool, that's good to hear. And then, 2% will be for the development. Team. Now, for the tokenomics, ito siya. As I've said, this is already listed and they actually have audited this na. Now, I wanna show you guys yung token, ano niya, smell test. Ito siya. So, it's 100, 100 over 100. Token is sellable already. Buy and sell fee are less than 10%. Yan, verified yung contract source. Um, no similar prior token contracts. Ownership renounce. Uh, meron siyang owner contract. Create 
it are not authorized for special permission, ibig sabihin hindi niya pwedeng i-alter lang anytime. Tapos, um, holder analysis naman, tokens are locked, yung 12.82%. Creator wallet and any other wallet, wala silang more than 5% of the total circulating supply. Ibig sabihin, uh, market manipulation won't come that easily. But take note na itong 100% na to could change day to day or even hours. Hey guys, sa mga ibang ano natin, na try na, Ka-open ko 45% and then if you refresh it, biglang 25 na lang. But right now, as we're shooting this, 100 over 100 sila. So for the liquidity, adequate liquidity is present. Sabi ko nga, naka-lock to for 266 years. We'll get to that, yung tokenomics na lang. And then at least 95% liquidity is burned or locked. Ayan, 99.99% actually for this token. And then yung creator wallet contains less than 5% of the liquidity. So let's go back sa white paper nila and talk about yung distribution. So yan, liquidity is 10% and then um, nasa liquidity pool ng DEX. Tapos, locked for 266 years nga. I think that's very unique. Wala pa ako nakita. Or so far, ito yung pinaka matagal na lock na nakita ko. Tapos, yung team nila is only 5%. So aside dito, no, uh, nabanggit nila na sa marketplace, diba may 2% sila every transaction. 5% linear vesting over one year. Um, one year is nasa medium range, no? Matagal, pero hindi ganun katagal. I've seen projects na nakalock for three years, usually mga triple A, no? Ganun sila. Not all, pero, ayun, most of them so far na nakita natin. So, advisor, 1%. At least, hindi over the top yung saan nila, hindi ganun kalaki, no? Tapos, yung reward pool yung may pinakamalaki. Yes, tama. 65%. Lock sa smart contract nila. So, that's good. Tapos, may mga bumabalik pa. 8% galing sa marketplace. Yung wallets nila are also very transparent. So, nakalagay sila dyan. You guys can check them out sa bscscan.com. And then, yes, audited sila by Certic. And nag-KYC sila. KYC ibig sabihin, let me show you. KYC, ayan. So, project ownership verified as we've seen din sa smell test kanina. Nakalista rin yung all team members. They also verified yung identity ng mga team members na yun with random requirements. And then yung contract is published sa mainnet. For the Certic audit naman, ito yung kanilang summary. So, ito yung nahanap nila no, nagkaroon ng major vulnerability level pero it was already mitigated. And some informational ano din, issues. Ayan. So, acknowledged pa lang no, in the process siguro of being mitigated or resolved. Pero at least meron na silang ganito and as you've seen din yung kanilang team, sa kanilang website um, nakalagay yung team nila. No? So may photo, may name, yung ano nila and then LinkedIn. Kaya lang yung LinkedIn nila may issue is uh, hindi ko siya maklik, di ko ma-open, hindi yata nakalink properly. We've talked to them sa mga nakasama natin sa AMA nila. They're actually very active sa AMA. Even sa Discord nila, I saw that they do hold parang mga random na check-ins, ganon, and then they ask parang their community kung anong gusto nila i-update. So I really appreciate that pag nakikinig pa rin sila sa kanilang community members, kahit na um, medyo matagal na yung game, no? Ito din, nasa white paper din nila yung team, tapos ito yung actual link ng LinkedIn nila. Sana i-update nila yung website for this, so, para mabilis sa makita ng mga uh, ayaw magbasa ng white paper. Pero ayan sila, you guys can check that out. Social networks, nakalink din dito, their social media accounts. I will also have this sa ating um, description box, so you don't have to go anywhere kung tirata mag mag-open ng white paper. You'll have that there. And then, meron din silang step-by-step -step process of how to get started. So, kung halimbawa um, you still need help, you're interested in investing pero hindi nyo alam kung paano yung step by step you have this to guide you sa white paper. And then, another tab na meron sila dito is frequently asked questions. Kaya lang wala siyang laman. So, I guess you can just go sa AMA natin dahil yung mga questions ng community yung tinanong natin doon. So, you can skip siguro yung first 30 minutes noon dahil yung mga diniscuss natin, yun lang yung pinag-usapan namin. So, numberize ko na dito for you. And then, yung onwards noon, you guys can refer to that kasi yung mga questions na from the community. Okay, now, it's time for us to rate yung mismong game nila. So while we do this, while we are rating this and sharing our opinions, I would really appreciate it and I would love to hear from you guys what you think about the game. Kung nag-agree ba kayo sa pagsuscore natin or hindi or what you guys want to add dito sa ating evaluation. So now, let's start with website quality. I like their website. Uh, madali siya intindihin, no? If you are a new investor, first time mo mag-research, nandun lahat. So merong summary ng gameplay, yung mga NFTs sa baba, may tokenomics, may roadmap, may team. 
uh, merong social media accounts. However, yung sa team nga nila, sa I've covered na kanina, hindi nakalink yung LinkedIn. But uh, anyway, uh, mabilis naman siyang hanapin sa ano, white paper. So I guess we'll still give it a three. Now for the white paper quality, um, it was organized, madaling itindihin. All the information you needed were there. Tapos, uh, detailed naman siya. Kaya lang, di ba, meron nga lang kulang dun sa, ano nila, dun sa frequently asked questions. I think, if they could update that. Pero I like na they went the extra mile to explain pa yung parang step-by-step process. It's okay, nakalink nga rin yung audits and madaling hanapin yung ibang info. So I think I'll also give it a three. If we compare it sa mga ibang rin-review natin, no, yung mga white paper ng iba, uh, medyo magulo, hindi nakahiwalay, ganon. But for this, to satisfactory, maganda naman. And ayun nga, very easy, especially for beginners. No, NFT quality, yung NFT nila, um, if itatabi mo siya sa may ibang play to earn games, nakamukha niya, ka-style niya, hindi mo madaling mapapoint out na, ah, peak minds yon. So that was my issue lang, parang brand, brand recognition. I'm not sure kung ako lang yon or if you feel the same way, please let me know. But for NFT quality, we'll put it at Two. Tapos yung utility nila, very straightforward yung utility, no? kailangan mo ng worker, kailangan mo ng pickaxe, kailangan mo ng furnace, ganun, may other options. Siguro maganda rin kung meron siyang ano, parang NFT staking habang, nag- earn, habang naglalaro ka para may extra earning. So yun, it's good. Okay naman. Yung game quality overall, it's not that unique. Literal na nagmamahin ka for what you're getting. What's unique about it is that yung naro- na kuha mo na minerals, raw pa sila, and then you have to refine them. So siguro, that adds points. So satisfactory yung overall, pero because they have that unique element or um, that additional step for burning then and for just the overall gameplay will put Good. Now, social media account, I'll pop up a screenshot ng rating ng tinignan natin. So, they have high fake followers for this. We're just basing it off on Twitter. So, Twitter ang ginagamit natin kasi ito yung most common for players. Pero dahil nga, high ito, um, higher than most yung fake followers, we'll put zero for this or low. But yung Discord nila, as I've said, very active sila doon. Marami silang mga AMA announcements. And then, meron nga sila ng mga parang voice channels minsan na naabutan natin. So, you guys can check those out. Again, as a link, uh, link in the description. But for this, kaya zero is we're only taking into account yung Twitter niya nila and yung engagement nila doon. Now, for the partners and investors, parang wala akong nakitang partners and investors, no? Oo nga, ngayon ko lang din na-realize. Wala akong nakita sa white paper and sa website. Wala tayong nakita, so we'll put zero. Although, nagkaroon sa na ILO, so im- im- impossible na zero talaga. Tapos may mga guilds sila. Siguro dapat sa white paper, aside dun sa frequently asked questions, ilagay din nila yung mga existing guilds na, no? And then yung parang may ano din, siguro dapat may rating, kunwari, kung 50 members, bronze, kung, and then kung 100 silver, tapos 200 gold, or 500 gold, mga ganun. So for the tokenomics, liquidity, 3. Tapos yung team naman, may 5% sila, tapos linear vesting over 1 year. So 5%, that's a really high, pero yung 1 year, that's satisfactory. So lagay natin sa good. <laughs> Ayan, sa gitna siya. Roadmap nila, I like their roadmap. So, nandoon. And from what I've checked, on time naman sila so far. So, let's put three. Audit certic uh, resolved or mitigated pala yung isang major issue. Pero may dalawang informational issues that were acknowledged. Hindi pa na-update yung paper eh. Pero meron silang audit. And then, yung smell test nila was 100. So, let's put that sa... 3 pa rin, no? But again, please take note na meron pa silang parang informational issue, dalawa yon na um, parang wala pa nga update sa mismong audit na binigay nila or nakalink. So, the total score is 21. So, pareho ba tayo na nakuha ng score? Let me know kung pareho or hindi. Um, kung may mga additional comments kayo about the project, sabihin nyo rin yan dyan sa baba. Very much welcome po kung may recommendations kayo or criticisms, okay lang yan. Tanggap natin yan. As long as you guys are respectful. So, 21 falls under medium risk appetite. Uh, may have moderate lifespan if some aspects are not improved. So, moderate lifespan para sa akin is around 3-6 months. Ganon. So, maikli yun actually kung iisipin mo, no? But for now, um, sa play to earn game space na meron tayo, that is considered moderate. Mga 6 to 8 naman siguro. Yeah, around ganon. That's that's a better interpretation. Yeah, that's my thoughts sa Peak Minds and my review. 
I again would really really love to hear your thoughts on this or kung may mga other Patreon games kayo na gusto natin i-review you guys can comment that or you can check out our Patreon games playlist or yung trading playlist natin check out more content from me meron tayong piniling two videos for you guys to start with now if you're interested in private sales naman or early access to NFTs gusto yung makauna I do share the allocations na nakukuha natin sa ating Discord group so please join us there if you want to be a part of the community and then for the giveaways, usually sa Facebook and Twitter natin pinupost. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you sa comment section natin and on our other socials plus our next videos. Bye! Thank you!